right, everybody. So we have already learned all about WAVE. We have looked at its website and gone through some of the documentation. And we've even set up our development environment. So the only thing left is creating our first WAVE app, which I think we're ready for. So let's get started. So now that we're on VS Code, all we have to do is basically just create a new file called app.py. And once I'm in that, um, I can just simply use my snippet um, to create a basic application. So by clicking W app base, um, I could get this minimum sort of code that we need to run our wave application. So we have our basic imports at the top, and then we have our main serve function, which we need for every wave app. So following this, um, we can see that um, we, maybe we want to create um, our page and add some components to it. So what we can do is type in page, we have our page. Um, note that we every app does need to have some sort of page so that um, you can include whatever um, tools or images or buttons or text boxes that you'd like. Um, so we can name this card one. And following that, uh, we could add in a form card. So I can just type in form card, super easy. And after that, we are immediately, we just have to fill in these parameters. So the first parameter is essentially how you want the card um, in terms of its size. And the way it works is that you um, set the numbers based on the column, um, row, and then the width, and then the height. So in our case, we have one, one, two, one. So we have our column, which is one unit, then we have our row, which is one unit, and then our width is two units, and our height is one unit. Following that, we have our items here that we want to include. So this can be anything. It's going to be text, button, text boxes, plots, images, um, you name it. And um, in this case, we're going to create a simple Hello World application to just get started. So I'll just type in text. And um, what do I want to type inside this? Let's say, hello world. And yeah, and now let's go into our terminal and just type in wave run app.py. Awesome. So now that we have um, saved it, we can go into our um, local host 10101. And immediately you'll see hello world um, right here up here, as simple as that. Um, if I wanna change this link, for example, if I just put tutorial in here, then um, this is essentially the link in which you're gonna redirect it to. So if I, if I now click save again, um, it's gonna disappear. And the way to fix that is to, I just have to add slash tutorial and there we have it. Um, so you can customize this to whatever website you want. Um, as you just observed, all I had to do is just hit command save and it automatically made the changes without me doing anything else. So if I want to say, hello, Tom, click save. There we have it. Hello, Tom is right there. So now let's take this one step further. And um, I want you to pause this video um, and I want you to include a button right below this hello world. So that's my task for you. Just create a small button over here and you can feel free to use the, the wave documentation. Just to remind you, it's wave.h2o.ai and you can simply find it right over here. So yeah, um, pause your video right here. Awesome. So now that you guys have maybe attempted to include a button below, Let's um, let's do it together. Let's solve uh, let's solve this task. So all I have to do is just type button, and now we just give it a name. So I can just type it um, submit button, and I just have to label it as uh, submit, and hit save. There we have it. Um, hello world, submit right here. Cool, so now that we have our button task done, um, I want you to pause this video again. And before you do that, think about one more component that you wanna add. 
Um, and let's just, you know, for the sake of this, try including a text box. And no, just a quick hint, you can use the snippets. So easily, just like we've used it previously in this tutorial, very intuitive. Um, let's try adding a text box um, right after this button. So pause this video, um, try working on it yourself. And once you're done, feel free to unpause. Cool. So let's just solve that. Once again, super easy. I just type in text box. Here you have it. I give it a name so I can name it. Maybe let's just say text box. Um, and then I could label it. Maybe let's call it like, how are you doing today? Then I hit save. Okay, so we don't see it here, but um, that's probably because our box is too small. So like we like we said before, what, what do these four parameters mean? It's the column, it's the row, and then it's the width, and then the height. In this case, we want to increase our height. So instead of one, let's shift this to two units, hit save, there we have it. Um, so yeah, sometimes, you know, if you see like your, your components aren't showing up, it's probably because your box is maybe not the right size. Um, and obviously, you know, using these snippets, it, it does make your life easier in terms of which parameters to use. So there's no, you know, question of that as well. You can always refer to the documentation um, to see if you're getting any of these hyperparameters, maybe mistaken, but usually the snippets um, work just fine. So after this, um, maybe let's try shifting this into the middle just so that it looks a little prettier. Okay, awesome. So hello world, how are you doing today? And then you submit. So now we've just created a very simple wave app with um, you know, three components. And now let's talk about um, you know, including some interaction within this app. So for example, if I click the submit button, maybe let's try to do something after uh, hitting the submit button. So what I'll do is after this, I'll just say if, q.args so basically if q.args.submit so it just means if i click this submit button then what do i do so now let's just say we want to create a new card right next to it so let's go ahead and do that Awesome, just fix the, the formatting there. Um, and now let's say after creating this, we want to just have a text box appearing, um, which says the submit button was clicked. Cool. So let's see what happens now once I do this. So let's check our code again. We have our three components. As soon as the submit button is hit, um, we're going to change the card such that um, the text po pops up saying the submit button was clicked. And let's change this card. And now let's hit save. Awesome. So now that you know we have this, if I hit submit, the submit button was clicked. Okay, now if I just reload this page again, I'll go back to the, the same one. And um, now what if I wanted to do it to the right hand side? If I wanted to create this um, submit button was clicked, but not on top of the card, but near it, what do I do? So once again, um, this is an exercise of the box. And trust me, once you get a hang of um, really understanding the, the column and width parameters, it just makes your life so much more easier, very easy to, to debug from there in any app that you build in the future. So now if we look at the parameters, it goes by column, it goes by row, and then width and height. So if I want to create a card that's over here, what parameter would I want to change out of these four? So if you got the answer as column, you are right. We do want to change the column parameter. So instead of one, let's change that to three. 
And now let's reload our page, um, reload our app, and let's try it again. So if I hit submit, what happens? Awesome. So it comes right next door. Cool. So now we have a very basic app here that's functioning. Now, what if I wanted to type in, you know, something in this text box? And as soon as I type it in this text box, um, I hit submit and then it goes to this card here. So instead of the submit button was clicked, um, whatever I type here should come come to this different card. How would I do that? So I want you to pause the video right here and just think about how you would do that, knowing everything that we know here. Awesome. So if you, you know, pause the video, if you got the chance to really think about it, you know, let's think this through. So firstly, instead of the submit button was clicked, um, maybe we want to, you know, delete that. Um, submit button was clicked. And um, we know that we want to use this parameter, the text box um, parameter right here. So what I'll do is I don't even need this content parameter, but right in the place of UI.text within these brackets, um, I just use the, the Q.args. And um, what I'll do, I'll just type in Q.args.text box. So we have our argument, we have our name that we insert here. And now essentially what this means is, you know, whatever I type in to this text box, it's gonna spit out into um, the card next to it. So let's give it a shot. So I've hit save, we've reloaded our application. How are you doing today? I am doing great. And um, now if I hit submit, it spits that out right there. Awesome. So we've just created, um, you know, a simple wave app. Um, we've, you know, built some more functionalities on top of the simple hello world. So now you may think, you know, what else can I add? What else can I include? And that's when, you know, we can go back to our um, wave documentation. So once again, wave.h2o.ai. Um, and you can look at all the different types of things that you can add. You can add like a to-do list. Um, you can add like, you know, different stat pie charts. Um, you can add in like, you know, this form, multicolored form or dashboard um, and so on and so forth. Really, the, the sky is the limit in terms of what you can really include in Wave. So though we've just built this very simple app, there's so many things that um, you know, we can build on top of this. If you want to create a chat bot, you can create that. And in a later video, we're going to be talking about some advanced functionalities um, in terms of how you can essentially connect this app to H2OGBTE and have a, an interactive chat bot going back and forth.